Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss how to choose trigonometric functions to model periodic phenomena with specified amplitude, frequency, and midline. Now, in our earlier sessions, we have discussed about the graph amplitude, period, midline for the trigonometric functions y is equal to a sine of b into x minus c by whole plus k and y is equal to a cos of b into x minus c by whole plus k and now we will use these trigonometric functions to model periodic phenomena before starting let us recall the meaning of A, B, C and K in the general form of trigonometric functions given by these forms. Now here, A affects the vertical stretch and amplitude and it is equal to modulus of A and here B affects the horizontal stretch and period and is equal to 2 pi upon modulus of B and C refers to the horizontal shift or phase shift. The graph is shifted to the right if C is greater than 0 and it is shifted to the left if C is less than 0 and here K refers to the vertical shift and the midline or principal axis is given by y is equal to k and here the graph is shifted vertically upwards if k is greater than 0 and it is shifted vertically downwards if k is less than 0. And now let us discuss how we can use these trigonometric functions to model periodic phenomena. Now, suppose we are given a verbal description or a table and we have to write the periodic function. It will be of the form y is equal to a sine of b into x minus c the whole plus k or y is equal to a cos of b into x minus c the whole plus k. First of all, we shall check sine or cosine. Now, if the graph moves from maximum point to minimum point, then we choose cosine function. And if the graph moves from the minimum point to the maximum point, we choose sine function. And if the graph starts neither from the minimum point nor maximum point but near midline, then we can choose either function according to our convenience. Now let us consider the following table and we will find the periodic function from the given table. Now let us plot these points on the graph. Now the first point that we will plot on the graph is 1, 3. Now taking 1 on x-axis and 3 on y-axis, this is the point with coordinates 1, 3. Similarly, we have plotted all the other points on the graph. Now let us join all these points. And on joining all these points, we get this curve. Now here you can see that the graph is starting from a lower point 
that is the point with coordinates 1, 3 and going to a higher point that is the point with coordinates 13, 3 and we know that if the graph moves from the minimum point to maximum point then we choose sine function so here we will choose sine function So, for the graph, the periodic function will be y is equal to a sine of b into x minus c the 1 plus k. Now here, the maximum value is y is equal to 5 and minimum value is y is equal to 1. So, we can find the midline by using the formula that is minimum value plus maximum value whole upon 2. So, this will be equal to now minimum value is 1 plus maximum value is 5 whole upon 2. So, this is equal to 6 upon 2 which is equal to 3. So, midline will be at y is equal to so there on this graph at y is equal to 3 we will draw midline. So there we have drawn a midline at y is equal to 3. That is the equation of this midline is y is equal to 3. Now let us find the amplitude which is equal to maximum value minus minimum value whole upon 2. So this will be equal to 5 minus 1 whole upon 2 which is equal to 4 upon 2 and this is equal to 2. Also from the graph we can see that cycle starts at x is equal to 1 and completes at x is equal to 13 and after x is equal to 13 the cycle repeats thus period of cycle is 12 because 12 units are covered from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 13 now we know that period is equal to 2 pi upon b. Now this implies, now here we have period is equal to 12. So 12 is equal to 2 pi upon b which implies b is equal to 2 pi upon 12. Now 2 into 6 is 12. So this implies d is equal to pi by 6. And now we have d is equal to pi by 6. Then amplitude is equal to 2. That is a is equal to 2. Now we know that equation of midline is given by y is equal to k. And here Equation of midline is y is equal to 3. So here we have k is equal to 3. Now putting all these values in this periodic function, we got y is equal to 2 sine of pi by 6 into x minus c double plus 3. Now we have to find C. Now we know that C refers to the horizontal shift or phase shift. Now without horizontal shift that is when C is equal to 0 we have Y is equal to 2 sin pi by 6 X plus 3 that is y is equal to 
टू साइन एफ पैजल सिक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस थ्री नाउ इफ यू पिट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर देन वी हैव वाई इज इक्वल टू टू साइन जीरो डिग्री प्लस थ्री दिस इंप्लाइज वाई इज इक्वल टू नाउ साइन जीरो डिग्री इज जीरो सो वाई इज बी इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस थ्री दैट इज थ्री सो फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो ग्राफ ऑफ दिस पीआरिक फंक्शन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सो द ग्राफ विल बी लाइक दिस विदाउट शिफ्ट एंड देन दिस ग्राफ इज शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो to x is equal to 1 and this is a horizontal shift and we know that c refers to the horizontal shift so here c will be equal to 1 minus 0 that is 1 so this is the graph with phase shift That is C is equal to one. So for C is equal to one, the periodic function will be y is equal to two sine of parallel six into x minus one the whole plus three. Thus, the periodic function is y is equal to two. Sine of pi by six into x minus one the whole plus three. Now we can make use of graphic calculators to graph a function when its equation is known. So once we find the equation, we can graph the periodic function from graphic calculators. Now the following graph will be made for the function. y is equal to 2 sin of pi by 6 into x minus 1 the whole plus 3 with the help of graphic calculator also we can predict values of x and y using graphic calculators here for y is equal to 4 we have x is equal to 2 And for x is equal to three, we have y is equal to four point seven three. So, using graphic calculators, we can predict the values of x and y. So, in this fashion, we have learned how to choose trigonometric functions to model. Periodic phenomena with specified amplitude, frequency, and midline. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.